Okay, this is my second take of this because uh, I guess my camera has a time limit. My name is Chuck Gibson. And this is my YouTube channel. Today, today we're looking through uh, Flesk Publications' Al Williamson's Strange World Adventures. Now this isn't uh, the size of an artist edition. It's a little smaller. It makes it a little easier to kind of pick out and flip through. Lots of biographical uh, information on Williamson in the beginning of the book. Early sketches. Pages. Let me back out a little bit so you can see the whole damn thing. Uh, lots of sketches and things. Doodles. This is the stuff that I like to see. The development stuff. Any kind of roughs. I'm going to do a liberal amount of skipping on this because some of this early stuff isn't the greatest. Although we will stop and pause and look at uh, some Frazette inks. Man. That's so nice. We got a detail shot of it here that I think is... I'm pretty sure that's bigger than modern original art would have been. This is a twice-set page and that's just like a, a quarter-sized panel. Looks like, but yeah, they blown it up here so you can see the detail. I love this stuff. This nice, soft feathery in here. That's the way to do it, right there. Anyway, I don't want to linger too much because, you said I think my phone has a time limit. This is a very famous page. Everybody knows this page from Al Williamson's Ishii stuff. And, uh, you know, I'm sorry, I got some sound in the background here. Everybody talks really loud at my house. Oh, my God, look at that. Look at that twisty little tree and all those cool-ass-looking brush lines on there. That's another Frazetta ink page. That's, that's Frazetta's mark right there. So, like, hey, wait a minute. I'll win sneaks with a pen most of the time. What the hell with these brush lines? Oh, no. Nope. That's another Frazetta. Another Frazetta ink page. I think he might have pitched in on a few places in his job. I see some stuff that kind of looks like him. This is what they call a coquille board. It's this textured board with this the pebbly texture raised up on there. And what you do is you take like a piece of charcoal or Conte crayon or something like that rub it over there and give you these nice subtle looking gray tones but it prints like line art does so you didn't need a half tone screen because the half tone screen was kind of already on the page here's some duo shade stuff Some incredible line look in there. Uh, I don't know if we're going to make it through this whole thing. I better flip faster. We had about three and a half minutes and it gave up at one point on me last time because I guess the video went too long. Something. Maybe I hit a button with my finger by accident. I don't know. But uh, I don't want to go through every page of this anyway because I don't want to. Well, I'm sure the Flesk people would appreciate it if you bought a copy of this rather than just looking at my video every time. But, uh... Damn it. Wow. I love the body language and this stuff. Uh... Anyway, we're, we're going to flip through at a quicker pace. Uh, this is some Flash Gordon stuff. more Flash Gordon and I know because that's what he says it is uh, Secret Agent X9 here's the stuff that I like really see the Alex Raymond influence you see reference photos for just about everything you know you get him and his friends it's Archie Goodwin right there 
Um, and there's Archie Goodwin with Al Williamson, both posing for photos. Um, but yeah, he would take photos of all this stuff. And unlike a lot of people you'd see today, you know, we're not, not just tracing over the photos, you're just using the photos as a basis. You know, because uh, any artist will tell you that, you know, if you just simply trace a photo, you're probably not going to get a very good result. It's going to look stiff. It's going to look weird. It stands out, you know. Uh, and to a trained eye, man, I can spot somebody tracing a photo pretty darn well. I mean, sometimes somebody will slide one by me. Wow, I love that. I've got this comic too, the, the Gold Key Flash Gordon movie adaptation. That's just a gorgeous picture. I probably haven't pulled this down to look at it. In, oh, I've probably looked at it maybe three times since I bought it. And I bought it like last summer. What have we got here? Reed Crandall. Reed Crandall with Al Williamson Inks. Man, how cool is that? Look at this shit up here. Beautiful. Nice soft feathery cape going on. But you can see the weight of this cloth. That is that is not a t-shirt flying around in a breeze. No. That is a heavy, heavy piece of cloth. Like, uh, you know, like hotel drapery <laughs> or something, man. Uh, Got a hotel curtain he's wearing. Um, these are pages from the fly. Mm, the old uh, Atlas comics. I think I think it was Atlas that did that. Anyway, I, I'm not sure how much time I get with these things. The last time they just kind of shut off with no warning. So if it does that when I'm in the middle of a sentence, you'll know what happened. Uh, I'm still kind of starting with this stuff. Wow. Look at that. That's just amazing. But yeah. Really cool book. Really cool book. I've enjoyed this. I think they still have these available. Um, they got them in soft cover as well as the hard cover versions of it. I think the soft covers are sold out. But, uh, yeah, if you can afford it, pick one up. It's great. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to sign off there. Um, thanks for working with me. Thanks for working with my crappy camera setup and all that. I appreciate you putting up with my technical uh, limitations here while I get this all figured out and get it going. Anyway, thanks for joining me. And until next time, um, we'll see you.